What say you? Yes. Good evening, everyone. This is the Mayor's Agenda, City of Hannibal Official Council Agenda, Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. Council Chamber is 7 p.m. I'm going to ask the clerk to please call the roll. Council Members Welch. Here. Beach. McCoy. Here. Mayor Pro Tim Dobson. Here. Council Member Cogdell. Mayor Hark. Here. Council Member Bowen. Here. There being a quorum, I'd call this meeting to order. Councilperson <laughs> Cogdell, would you do the invitation to see please? Gracious God and Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you again for allowing us to come together, Lord, to uh, be in your presence, be in the presence of uh, the community, Lord, to make decisions, Lord. We just ask that you bless each and every one of us, that you give us a sound mind, um, hearts, and, and, and the wisdom to make the right decisions on behalf of the citizens of the town, Lord. We continue to pray over the virus and just everything else that's going on right now. We ask that you. Just put some mercy down upon this world right now, upon this, this nation, Lord, upon all of the communities that are suffering so. And Lord, we ask all these things in Jesus' name and for your sake. Amen. I'd ask the members of the Cannibal Police Department to lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Liberty, justice for all. Thank you. Council, at this time, I'd entertain a motion to excuse <laughs> Councilman Beach from this evening's meeting. So, so moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's carried. Uh, Council. Like take just a moment, if I could, to recognize the efforts of the Parks and Street Department, the Hannibal Board of Public Works, the Hannibal Police, and Hannibal Fire for all their efforts. This last ice storm that was just nearly a impossible task to manage. Uh, we can control many things, but weather is one of those that we cannot. I know there is several people that worked, I don't know if you want to call them double, triple, or quadruple shifts, uh, but it was pretty tenuous, and I appreciate their efforts. I know the citizens appreciate the efforts. I just want to take a moment to thank you. I'm sure every council member up here also is uh, appreciative of your efforts. Thank you very much. This time, I'd like to motion to approve the agenda as it's posted this evening. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Motion to approve the minutes of the regularly scheduled council meeting of December 15, 2020. Moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion over the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion is carried. Now I'm requesting a motion to approve the payroll and claims for the second half of December 2020. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. First person to speak on the agenda this evening, James Lemon, City Attorney. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, uh, as we know, we've got an issue with trash and waste management, et cetera, et cetera, here in town. And uh, uh, part of the problem is people not uh, keeping uh, approved trash uh, haulers. And uh, that leaves us with an interesting situation under the statute in that uh, you've got two choices, basically. <coughs> Choice number one is you can enter into some kind of a contractual agreement with the existing trash haulers, or choice number two is you can send them a two-year notice, and in the conclusion of the two-year notice, you can begin a process to take over the trash hauling itself. Uh, 
We discussed this previously, and uh, you all had instructed me to draft some uh, uh, a letter to send out to all the trash haulers, um, notifying them uh, that we were going to take a look at this process. And there is also a statute that says they're required by law to provide us a list of all their customers and what they're being paid. The reason why you do that is so that we can have some type of an understanding of what we would need to do to negotiate and whether we can put some kind of a deal together. So we sent that notice, and uh, the problem is a couple of things. Number one, only one or two of the trash haulers has responded with uh, the information that we would need to start working on trying to do some negotiation. So that's problematic, and, and we're a little concerned whether they got the notice or not. But problem number two is the building inspector's office advises me that there are two trash haulers that we are not aware of. So uh, certainly, we are clearly obligated if we're going to do some type of contractual thing. It's all trash haulers, so those people would need to be included. So we need to send them a notice uh, for sure, and also they are also entitled to a two-year prior notice that we're considering this process. So what is on the agenda today then is I believe that the most appropriate way to handle this would be to go ahead and send this notice and send this notice to all trash haulers, including two new trash haulers, with the hope that we get two things. Number one, that we will make sure we've notified these two other trash haulers. But uh, secondly, that uh, uh, we uh, uh, make sure that everyone has gotten it. And there's also some hope that by talking about it here in open session, that the trash haulers will understand we're not trying to poke our nose into the business. We're trying to come up with the information we need in order to try to figure out some way to include all of them and put a contract on them. So what I'm seeking tonight then is approval of notification to trash haulers pursuant to RSMO 264. I'll make a motion that we uh, authorize the uh, city attorney to draft such a, a letter to be sent to the trash haulers. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. Next item. All right. The next thing is also me, Mayor, and uh, this is uh, uh, regarding a, a uh, thing that we would like to put on the ballot. And here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> under the charter, there's some question of what we can do in a situation where there's a pandemic or other thing where there might be an emergency uh, as far as having alternate meeting ability and also being able to uh, use new technology, which of course did not exist when our charter was developed. And so that means doing things like Zoom, uh, doing online meetings, et cetera, et cetera. There's some argument that maybe in an emergency uh, we would be authorized to do that, but it's a little unclear under the charter. And quite frankly, with the current pandemic in the way it is and with other places still keeping things locked down and the talk of, uh, the fact that there may be some mutated viruses, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this was something that uh, uh, staff believes would be appropriate to allow the council to meet via Zoom phone. And there are some provisions regarding requiring the council to prove who they are if they're going to attend uh, electronically, et cetera, et cetera. But it would open things up and it would help us deal with this brave new world that we've got. And uh, I have drafted some proposed language, put that on the ballot, and that would be bill number 21-001 to follow. That we are gonna ask that that be read as an emergency <coughs> reading. Reason for that is that quite frankly, I didn't get it to the city clerk in a timely enough fashion to get it in December. If we're gonna get it on the ballot properly, it needs to be read tonight and approved, assuming that you all do approve. And that's Bill 21-001 to follow. Else? That's everything for me, Mayor, unless you all have something I don't know about. Not yet. Okay. 
Next item on the agenda is Andy Dorian, Director of Central Services. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, I got one item tonight. Um, I got a kind of a hodgepodge here of change orders for the Riverfront project. Um, I've got the first one here was some adjustment in some electrical conduit um, that we had to run for the marina. Um, second was the removal of some fuel contaminated soil. Um, there used to be underground tanks there years ago. And um, when we were digging, they found that that was unexpected. So to be safe, we hauled that off. Um, number three was furnishing and installing some retrieval chains and hoist. This is something that came up after the fact. Um, none of us kind of caught that and um, enabled it to, for them to be able to hook their boats and their wharf boats back up. We needed these retrieval chains. So that was something that um, got added. Um, number four was a railroad flagman for the fence installation project. This was something that we didn't expect. Um, I asked for some additional riprap in the marina area. Um, Council Bum Bowen on this next one caught this uh, mistake. We forgot the water line that runs to the <coughs> marina. So luckily he caught that in advance. Mm. So um, it, if he didn't catch it, it would, it would have been a little bit more inconvenient. But since he got it early, we were able to get that in. And then number seven, um, those that have been down there, there's some openings where the gangways are. And there's a little bit of a safety hazard. So I asked to um, close those areas in. So the additional contract price um, goes up to $6,768,823.65. It's an increased change order of $83,537.84. We did anticipate this. Um, we budgeted $200,000 for these mop-up expenses. But we, we knew going along that I was going to add um, some additional things. This is probably not going to be the last change order. Um, I'm probably going to bring one more in under this contract um, involving some additional riprap by the boat club area um, and then some modifications to the docks. I'm going to make some small modifications to allow some bigger boats <clears throat> there and for the uh, gas dock. And then we got a little bit more additional electric work. So that's, that'll be the tail end of this contract and then... Like I said, we've got lots more fun things to do, kayak launches and things like that, but that'll be additional contracts in the future. Can you answer any questions? Um, what does this bring our total of change order to? For the um, $120,823. And all that's been budgeted for, so it's not going to, doesn't impact us. We, kind of, we planned ahead and figured this would be It's not case. that bad for that big a project. No, and like I said, some of these things are things I decided to add under the contract. I could have waited, but it would probably would have cost us more if we had to. So it's easier to, to sure. get them in under the contract price now. So, okay. Any other questions? That's resolution twenty three twelve twenty one to follow. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Andy. Next item on the agenda: Edie Grotman, DPW Management Assistant. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, I have two agenda items for this evening. Um, the first one is to set a public hearing for a rezoning request. Um, the property in question is at the corner lot of Stardust and Munger uh, Route W area. It's right across from Lowe's. Um, it's a 9.5 acre lot currently owned by the Secker Trust. Um, they're looking to rezone it from A12 family to B multiple family. Um, this is uh, the public hearing that planning zoning on January 21st, 4 p.m., then council at 645 on January 22nd. Um, this is approved that planning zoning on the Zoom meeting. This will be the first time we have done that. Um, it's approved. Um, that notice that will go out to everyone at 185 feet, giving them my email address, the uh, mailing address, and then um, notification for the Zoom <coughs> phone number of the Zoom meeting so that way they can attend digitally if they want to, or they can mail in their response, either for that meeting. So we're not really having public meetings at the time, but we have exhausted every option to comment on it since it's a little bit different than what we normally have for a meeting. Um, the reason we are having it is because the property um, closes in February. The deadline has been out for a while, so. 
I guess my only money, and I'd find out of planning and zoning, is is this a private enterprise or is this government <coughs> money that's going to fund the the purchase and the uh, the uh, building of the the multiple family uh, residences? Okay, that makes me more comfortable. Is there? Okay. Is there a motion to approve the setting the public hearing for February 2nd, 2021 at 6.45 p.m.? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Next second. item. Thank you. My second one is for the property at 1722 Grace. Um, this uh, property is on our building commission list. Um, a young lady by the name of Kristen Bankhart actually purchased the property Marion County sale. Um, she didn't know at the time when she purchased it that it was on our building commission demolition list. Um, it's been on the list since 2016, and it was actually scheduled for demolition when she purchased it. Um, we kind of changed our process. Marion County now has our demolition list. At the time, she <coughs> did not. So like I said, we've changed some things here so that way they can better inform people when they buy these. There's what's getting ready to be torn down or not, because otherwise this property would have already been down and gone. Um, anyway, she purchased it. Um, it's got a beautiful skylight in it because the roof is completely collapsed. She cannot afford demolition, therefore <coughs> we'll to sign it over to the city so that way we can proceed forward. Um, utilities are pulled, asbestos is gone. It's If it gets approved tonight, it'll probably be gone in the next few weeks. That's resolution 2013-21. Functions just the same as every other skylight. It leaks. <laughs> it's leaked for many, many years, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Council, we have before us resolution 2312-21. Any motion to have the clerk read this resolution? Call the roll for adoption. So move. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion to carry. Resolution number 2312-21, a resolution of the City of Hannibal authorizing the mayor to execute change order number five between the City and Bly Construction Company for the Hannibal Riverfront renovation project in the amount of $83,537.84. Council members Welch? Yes. McCoy? Yes. Mayor Pro Tim Dobson? Yes. Council member Cogdell? Yes. Mayor Hark? Yes. And Council Member Bowen? Yes. I declare resolution 2312 21 duly approved and adopted on this day. We now have resolution 2313 21. I need a motion to have the clerk read this resolution and call the roll for adoption. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. Resolution number 2313-21, resolution of the City of Hannibal authorizing the mayor to accept and execute a general warranty deed and settlement agreement and release for the acceptance of donated property to the city from Kristen Banghart, known as 1722 Grace Street. Council members Welch? Yes. McCoy? Yes. Mayor Pro Tim Dobson? Yes. Council member McCoy? Or okay. Cogdell? <laughs> mayor Hark? Yes. And Council Member Bowen. Yes. Going backwards, sorry. <laughs> I declare resolution 2313 21, duly approved and adopted on this day. We now have before us bill number 20 033, and a motion to have the clerk give this bill a second and final reading. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Bill number 20-033, an ordinance of the City of Hannibal amending the fiscal year 2020-2021 payroll, ordinance number one, relative to elimination of three part-time street maintenance worker positions and creating one full-time street maintenance worker one position. Second and final reading. Council members Welch? Yes. McCoy? Yes. Mayor Pro Tim Dobson? Yes. Council member Cogdall? Yes. Mayor Hark? Yes. And Council member Bowen? Yes. Declare bill number 20-033. Three duly approved adopted on this day. We now have bill number 21-001. I need a motion to have the clerk give this bill an emergency reading. So move. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion is carried. Bill number 21-001, an ordinance of the City of Hannibal providing for a municipal election to be held Tuesday, April 6, 2021, to allow Hannibal voters to consider an amendment to the charter of the city 
to allow attendance at council meetings by electronic means, emergency reading. Council members Welch? Yes. McCoy? Yes. Mayor Pro Tim Dobson? Yes. Council member Cogdell? Yes. Mayor Hart? Yes. And council member Bowen? Yes. I declare bill number 21-001 duly approved and adopted on this day. Council I'm now asking you on the closed session in accordance with RSMO 610.021, paragraph 1, 2, and 19, admitting myself, council, city manager, city attorney, city clerk, Corey Mahaffey, Andy. Andy Dorian, Chief Lyndall Davis, and Gail Brandt. Anyone else? I think that'll do it. <laughs> do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Okay. Motion to second. Any discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to carry. Councilmember Welch? Yes. McCoy? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Dobson? Yes. Councilmember Cogdell? Mayor Hark? Yes. And Councilmember Bowen? Yes. Very good. Thank you, gentlemen, for your service. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.